Daily morning prayer. This is for Friday, December 31st. And Happy New Year's. We are gathered together in the name of the Blessed and Holy Trinity. Amen. Our song for this morning is O Little Town of Bethlehem. We'll sing verse 4 together, and this is hymn number 279 in Evangelical Lutheran Worship. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us, we pray. We hear the Christmas angels great glad tidings tell. O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Our quote for this morning comes from St. Augustine from his Confessions. O Lord my God, let me with thanksgiving remember and confess unto thee thy mercies on me. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 147, verses 12 through 20. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For the Lord strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your children within you. God grants peace within your borders and fills you with the finest of wheat. God sends out the commands to the earth. God's word runs swiftly. God gives snow like wool and scatters frost like ashes. God hurls down hail like crumbs. Who can stand before the cold? The Lord sends out the word and melts them. God makes the wind blow and the waters flow. God declares the word to Jacob. God gives statutes and ordinances to Israel. God has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know the ordinances of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our Old Testament reading comes from 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 5 through 14. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I should give you. Solomon said, You have shown great and steadfast love to your servant, my father David, because he walked before you in faithfulness, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart toward you. And you've kept for him this great and steadfast love, and have given him a son to sit on his throne today. And now, O Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David, although I am only a little child. I do not know how to go out or to come in. And your servant is in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a great people, so numerous they cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, able to discern between good and evil. For who can govern this, your great people? It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this. God said to him, Because you have asked this, and have not asked for yourself long life, or riches, or for the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right, I now do according to your word. Indeed, I give you a wise and discerning mind. No one like you has been before you, and no one like you shall arise after you. I give you also what you have not asked, both riches and honor all your life. No other king shall compare with you. If you will walk in my ways, keeping my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your life. Our New Testament reading comes from John chapter 8, verses 12 through 19. Again, Jesus spoke to the crowd, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I've come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law, it's written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your father? 
Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.